Well, it's definitely different. All right, hope you enjoyed the footage there. Try not to make it too long, but just throw in some, uh, just some footage of shooting all of the different, different variations of the guns. Now, here, here's my final thoughts and takeaways for all of them. Of course, they're all feature rich. Um, like I said, this one has the ported comp, um, which makes for a great shooter, man. This thing, when I say uh, for such a small gun, stays pretty flat when you're shooting it. And um, this one is a little bit snappier than this one, I would say, but um, it, it, it shoots really well. And it's mostly because of the uh, micro comp uh, and the longer barrel. Uh, and then that shorter trigger uh, and the Wilson Comeback grip, all of these things come together to make for a great shooter. The Wilson Comeback grip uh, allows for a, a different type of grip angle. It kind of gives you like a 1911 uh, kind of grip angle uh, and it, it kind of is more upright so it's more natural so when you grab it and it's kind of hard to catch it on camera but when you when you grab it it's like a natural like straight pointing feel it's all really straightforward uh, so there's no angling or trying to get you know comfortable with it like I hate to say this but blocks you know um, blocks are just weird to to grip man so it's unnatural, it feels weird, and whatever. So, at any rate, that's one thing I like about six there. They feel natural, they're easy to handle, and um, you don't have to do a whole lot of modifying to them if you decide to do any at all. People run six stock all the time, and they are perfect. Like, I ran this one stock for years. Uh, I ran this one stock uh, as a carry for about three years before I started actually modifying it. Uh, and it was an excellent gun. Never failed me, never had any malfunctions, hangups, or anything like that. At any rate, so moving on to this one, this is going to be the newest gun in my collection, the X Compact. Uh, what I'll say about this one is that uh, it it feels the best because it's it's bigger than this one, uh, but still small enough that it, you can conceal it, carry it, uh, carry it inside the waistband, outside the waistband, and all around it's just a, a great feeling gun. And when you're shooting it, it uh, how can I say it? It's just, it, it stays um, pretty much, I wouldn't say flat, but it's, it soaks up the recoil pretty good, and the muzzle doesn't really try to rise much on this thing. So I can only imagine as a ported version, it would be even that much better. Um, I'm going to try to speak up here. Hopefully you don't hear that sound. My long, yard, yard man just came to come mow the yard. Uh, will conveniently come right at the time when I'm trying to shoot this video. So at any rate, this is my favorite shooting gun so far. It's my favorite all-around carry. Um, now, I do would say that this one is the one just because of the natural uh, grip angle with the Wilson Combat and the overall length of it um, and how it fits in my hand because uh, I don't have really big hands, but I have, you know, average size hands. Um, this one, I shoot the best. I can, you know, up to 15 yards, put a hole in uh, a target, you know, um, you know, the size of an inch or two uh, with, with this one. And I'm getting there with this one you now. So the first few times I took it out and shot it, you know, I was pretty accurate with it um, straight out the box. I'm dead on accurate with this one. It's kind of hard not to be with a full size gun. Uh, but when you have this X series grip on it, uh, man, it just it just makes it that much better. So, uh, and again, of course, being full size, it helps soak up recoil. And again, the muzzle flip is is not excessive on this at all. It's definitely manageable. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites. Now, a lot of people hate this curved trigger, but it's it's it actually really feels good. Um, it's not the best trigger, but for duty purposes and stuff like that, it's not too light. 
uh, but it's not too heavy and it breaks clean. So if you look at that, there's a really small amount of take up there, a really small amount, and then you know it just breaks, man. The reset is not the best, but again, it's it's just good. All right, you have to excuse me there. If I keep pausing, the yard man is coming right next to the window where I'm trying to record. At any rate, so let me finish up with this one. Um, all of these guns have the X-ray day and night sights. So, you know, that, that's pretty standard on these. Um, what else? What else? Uh, that's pretty much it on that one. Man. That one doesn't have a whole lot. I mean, this one is pretty much the same exact thing, only it's smaller. Uh, now, this one... Unlike that one does have the uh, flat trigger. And if you can see, it uh, has a little bit of take up, not a whole lot. Breaks. And doesn't sound as crisp as this one, but you know, it's it's not, it's fine. So here's the uh, take up, I mean the reset. It's not pretty short there. And it breaks again. Now this one is optic cut, obviously, uh, just like all the rest of these. This is the only one that's not optic cut. Now when I first got this gun, it was not like a really common thing on guns at the at that time, on handguns. Um, so I, it did not come optic cut. And I thought about getting it done, but I don't really shoot dots on any of my guns. So uh, it's not a big deal. If I decide to go that route one day, maybe I'll get a new slide, uh, change the color, maybe get silver or something like that. Uh, stainless steel or something and you know change it up a little bit I will probably change the slide on this one or this one I haven't decided which one I'm going to modify which way yet so but I will be modifying both of these well this one's already pretty modded but this one will be as well this one will probably stay standard just stock I really don't plan on making any changes to this one it has the uh, ported slide which is great if anything you you know get a nice Cerakote on there or something but uh, with the accents, the stippling, I mean, it feels good, man. This, this thing, now when I was shooting this gun, this gun actually surprised me because it's so small. Uh, I was uh, expecting it to be a lot snappier. And man, when I say that this gun, uh, you know, stayed pretty much on target, um, sight acquisition, sight acquisition was, was really good on this gun. Um, it never had a, a, a problem coming back, uh, down. So, you know, you the muzzle flips slightly, and it's very, very small, and it comes right back, and you're right on target. Boom, 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 man. So, really enjoy shooting this gun. Now, this one probably has the least amount of rounds on it, but it's one of my favorites to shoot. Um, this, of course, is, as of right now, is my favorite shooter, only because I shoot it the best, and I have the most time with this. Well, actually, I have the most time with this one, but the most shooting time, I probably would say is is with this one um and i've spent more time like training uh with this one because i was carrying it every single day um but this one i have the most time just spending with it only because i carry it uh, for duty purposes but this one is the one i spent most time like just carrying around going to the range having fun with you know and then i would do this one a little bit um this one is fairly new as well uh, i've had this one probably six months maybe and this one I've only had not even a month <laughs> so at any rate uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up like I said I don't want to make it too long so in conclusion here this is what I got no matter which one of these guns you go with uh, you'll be satisfied uh, now depending on the purpose that you're carrying it or you're using it for will you know kind of make your decision. If you want an all-around carrier that shoots pretty flat, uh, handles recoil well, um, uh, mitigates uh, the muzzle rise, and you know, it's just a, a all-around good carry, small enough to conceal and in every capacity, then this may be the way to go, the Rose. Now this one is a little more expensive than the regular XL uh, by a few hundred dollars, but uh, for what you get in this package, um, I would say it's it's worth it. I mean, I paid for it. Like I said, it's mostly this one is the one my wife mostly carries, and she likes this gun. And when the first time she took it out and shooting it, um, she probably shot this gun the best uh, from other guns that she shot. 
Um, now, if you want to just go with something like this, but not spend as much money up front, you can go with something like this. And then you can modify it however you would like. Um, it comes with a grip similar to this one, um, just without the stippling and all that in it. So uh, then you can buy the Wilson Comeback Grip, which is, you know, not expensive at all. It's actually relatively, it's a lot cheaper than I expected Wilson Comeback to sell a grip for. Um, but people love these, and I understand why. So at any rate, you can go with one of these. This is, again, easy to conceal, easy to carry. And even if you compensate it, um, it's still not terribly long. Um, it's only, see, look at that. It's a little bit longer than this slide, um, but this is not the part that you have to worry about printing, so it's not really that big of a deal. The part that you have to worry about printing when you're concealing is this portion. And from this portion, you can see that uh, they're pretty much the same size here. So um, overall, as far as size-wise, these guns are pretty much exactly the same. The only per place where these guns are different is going to be on the, the, the width. Now, if you can see the width of these guns is where uh, there is a big difference. All right, so. And then, again, if you have beefier hands, talking about the width again, this is going to be the one you want to go with. The X Compact gives you everything that this gun gives you, only gives you a, a little bit thicker grip. And um, with that, you may have a, a, a better time controlling this gun when you're actually out shooting it and having some fun uh, on the range, relieving some stress or whatever you choose to do, uh, whatever you shoot for, you know, if it's just self-defense or whatever. This is all around probably my favorite. Even though I really, really love this gun, this is by far my favorite gun so far, uh, as far as from C. Um, now, if you're only gonna be going to the range and you just wanna have a nice flat shooter, then this is the way to go. Man, the slide on this gun, it's like the, the more you shoot it, the more you use it, it just gets better. It's so, so smooth. Uh, easy to manipulate. Um, and again, the customability of all the SIGs is, is exceptional. I mean, there's so much aftermarket support and you can pretty much make these guns whatever you want. So. If you want a full size gun to take to the range and you're not gonna carry it much as far as inside of the waistband or concealment, then this will probably be the way to go. Um, this gun stays the flattest when shooting. I, I shot this right next to the X5 Legion, which is heavier and it has the, the metal frame and uh, the, the uh, ported barrel uh, on the X5 Legion. And I would say that this gun shot just as well as that one. Uh, there was a little bit of a, a observable difference when shooting them, but for the most part, you know, they were pretty much on par. And then you're talking about between this gun stock and the X5 Legion, you're talking about maybe uh, five, $600 difference. Uh, if you take and buy this gun stock and then, you know, spend the 500 uh, or even 300, you know, whatever, uh, on your own, you can make the gun better than the X5 Legion and it will be customized to your own fit. So at any rate, and that goes for all of these guns. You buy them, you can customize them as, as much or as little as you want. You can make them your own. And I mean, the options are endless uh, with these guns. Like I said, there's so much aftermarket support. So the P320 and P365 by far, uh, SIG knocked it out of the park with these guns. Um, if you, like I said, starting with a, a standard stock, going to a Wilson Combat stock, going to an X, X series stock, um, porting the slides, changing out the um, uh, like slide catches and safeties and all of that stuff, um, it, you can pretty much make these guns your own. So at any rate, uh, I'm going to end the video there. I appreciate you guys checking by. Hopefully, um, you learned a little bit about the uh, SIG P365 and P320 platform. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll have a discussion. I'm out of here. Peace. Appreciate you checking by.